Hello fellow Wargamers, this is Gamer1745 with my second tutorial on decisive campaigns or Den's Offensive. And this one's going to be a look at cards and how to use them and some just some of the basics on them so that we understand what we're talking about. But very quickly, if you're new here, you want to see more tutorials on this game and other games and more historical World War II often Wargaming videos, please hit the subscribe button and can if it's helpful to you guys can you hit that like button that really helps right okay cards they're these things officers you, you can see them by coming over here and clicking on off and you'll see the different um, commanders uh, their HQs I think yeah he's up here and they have different cards now each card has a value up here in the corner, 6, 2, 6, 12. This here is command points. From reading the manual, and if I understand this correctly, this, and I've, I've tested a basic out, this is how many cards or the command points of the cards he can play at his current status, and that he gains two command points per turn. So these are both um, important stats to understand. So let's come back over here. We have, um, you know, a two tens and a 12. So he could play two of these cards and that is it. And then have to wait basically five turns or whatever. I mean, there'd be an extra, so four turns to be able to play the next card here. Where here we see you know, um, do some recon. Okay, it's two points. So he could do the recon and um, two sixes and a ten kind of thing. You know, we can mix that up. So keep that in mind here. So just as planning, um, you want to look at and these cards have colors. And I'm going to go through the colors of the cards from, I'm going to be reading from um, the manual here. Um, I will say, <laughs> this game seems a little rushed. Now, I'm playing a, an early version still, though I don't know how much different it is from um, the standard version. It's a really, really good game, but just some of the stuff here. Um, I could have used some more detail on some of this, but um, the key officer um, statistic for cards usage is command level. Um, uh, the higher the command level of the officer, the more command points the officers will gain each turn. Okay, so that tells you that even though that this is a core commander, I did notice, but I don't know. Um, he seems to only be getting um, two points, so I don't know how that affects. Now, we're just playing a scenario and not, you know, the grand campaign of it, so we may see greater differences there. In order to play a card, an, an officer must have, as I just said, um, enough command points to play the points of his card. So enough of these. And like I said, we're going to um, cards have come in five colors. Each one has an effect based on different officer statistics. Red cards will give effects with high audacity, usually related to offensive com uh, action. So um, let's see if we can see a red. So speed or tank drive here. So if you're going to be doing a um, some sort of offensive action here, let's see tank drive. Um, offensive bonus for selected units, troops. Okay, we're going to cancel that. So if we were going to, you know, attack this unit um, might be a good idea to play this card just beforehand uh, green cards will give better effects um, with high determination usually related to defensive um, action so if we are um, wanting to make sure we hold a, doesn't have to be you know just a defensive bonus for selected unit so, but if you want to hold a bridge or something that you think a um, major action is going to take place in, you want to do that. Blue cards will give better effects with high charisma, usually related to um, morale. Oh, and there are um, charisma. I haven't gone over the officer stats. We may do that sometime in another 
video here um, that affects the subunits of um, the commander. Uh, understand um, that is one um, core up there, and this is another core in this scenario here. So it affects their subunits. Um, but just do understand that. So um, the charisma under there. Brown cards give better effects with high intuition, usually related to reconnaissance. So again, back here, this has a lot of um, multicolored cards in its in his um, deck, I guess we could call it. Uh, so um, we have that. And purple cards will give better effects with high organization, usually related to higher HQ command cards. So here we're looking at supervise, visit the front. Uh, was one of them supply? Um, scrape together, visit. So yeah, so you can um, play the cards, uh, entrench what would be um, extra entrenchment points. So yes, um, keep cards in mind. Um, like I've said before, cards came along after I left tabletop wargaming as an active pursuit. All my games predate the use of cards. So I am not terribly familiar or, or familiar or practiced with the idea of using the cards, but it can be a, um, a critical element of the game. Um, I could see here um, either planning a defensive situation with this big stack coming or if you were um, planning, a, you know, if you had set up around it and planning a major attack on it, you could um, set up for good offensive operations. So keep cards in mind. Um, and let's see. Oh, well, let's, let's play a, a card or two just to... Um, here we go. We can scrape together unit um, another unit. One thing I wanted to see. Okay, so we have here under his the staff is um, 230 staff, um, 60 schnickstrung. Don't know what schnickstrung means. Opal blitz um, there. I don't know if we were to if this were to go down. We're gonna play card. Manage emergency troops. Okay. No, nope, it didn't seem to be reducing any of at least his from his command staff. But we now have a unit now. Um, so we now have another unit with a bunch of infantry, some pioneers, Jaegers, some staff, some mortars. So if you wanted to play that to get another card, and then we could you know move up here and support with that let's see a good what what do we have here let's do tank drive play card and it will um, so we can't play it on him we could play it on him though so selected unit so we're going to play this. I took charge of the Panther Battalion. Army will now attack with 40% more for one round. Right, so. And we're going to bring in some supporting elements. Oh, no, no, no. Um, so let's, I still have that unit selected. I'm going to select this unit. So I'm not quite sure whether, presumably better, but um, operation. So you can use it like that. And say if we're going to be holding this pass here, we can get a note that he has 24 command points. We're going to play 
play card and let's hold that ridge line there selected unit looking at the strength of these units you know let's play card with him nice that all troops will now defend for one round so now they they'll have better defenses holding there um, and we can see that he is he was at 24 um, no longer you know down at 18 for playing that card so that's just a basic on cards uh, if you have other ideas or questions for um, tutorials please post them below um, have a good time playing this really great game thanks everyone See you next time for more historical gaming videos.